We have come together to witness this special occasion, the holy matrimony bonding Jamie and Kenner at this special time. The marriage experience was, of course, constituted in the Genesis in the, in the Old Testament uh, by God and was further reinforced, actually, in Canaan of Galilee when Jesus performed his first miracle at that wedding. We know that also that uh, marriage, especially as a reminded in Scripture, be honored above all things in, in the Scripture, so it's very important there. The union of the husband and wife are for the pleasure and the joy of the couple, and at the same time, it's provide the help and the comfort of one another in the relationship. We enter into this at a time where we know that uh, the moments will help you too to get through adversity as well as prosperity, and that's what the marital bond is about, is how do you manage those types of things. We have Kenner to be your husband, to live together in a covenant of marriage, where you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, and be faithful to him as long as you both live. I will. And Kenner? We have Jamie to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of the marriage. We love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her throughout the days of your life. I will. In the name of God, I, Kenner, take you, Jamie, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. In the name of God, I, Jamie, take you, Kenner, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. <laughs> to love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. You know, T. Hager had a role in this wedding. It's, I, it could be illegal, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> what T. did was a few things like, he of course thought this wedding should happen. And as a lot of you do, and, and actually I think a lot of us here today knew before these two do, did, perhaps, this was going to happen just a matter of time. I think a lot of us really felt that and believed that about these two. Too. And uh, the team did things like uh, giving away football tickets. I heard to the Bedlam game of all things, so that these two would get together. Like a blind date of sorts. That, that's pretty cunning. And then of course the capper. The capper of this is this. Ten months earlier, and those of you who know Kidder know he's analytic, and he's uh, methodical, plans ahead. So he had asked Teed 10 months earlier for his daughter's hand in marriage. So Teed does these things, and 10 months later in Durango, Colorado at their grandparents, uh, Kenner says, let's go for a walk in the mountains. And Jamie, for whatever reason, wasn't really up to it. I think, I don't know what she said, but she wasn't too excited about it. But guess who intervened and said, oh, you all should go for a walk in the mountains. That's right, T. Dagan. That's right. So they went for the walk in the mountains. That's where Kenner proposed to uh, Jamie that evening. And as they returned to the house, a great celebration of families. Jamie, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now that Kenner and Jamie have given themselves in, the, in these solemn vows of holy matrimony, uh, they've exchanged rings in the presence of so many witnesses. Uh, in, in the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, we now announce that they are, are indeed a married couple. And remember, those who God has joined together, let no man set apart. Kenner, you may kiss you right. <laughs> you. It's now my honor to introduce for the very first time Dr. and Mrs. Kenner Meisner.
Good job. Thank you for these two hearts, for Kenner, Jamie, for their families, for the influence of so many lives that are reflected in the attendance today who have such an impact on their lives. Father, we ask you to bless this ceremony today. We ask you to bond this relationship in ways that only you can fathom and we as humans can only partially experience sometimes. Father, we pray that uh, you'll be with them during this time of gathering, this time of closeness. And Father, we pray that uh, as we conclude this ceremony in a few moments that you'll be with Jamie and Kenner in the remaining days of their life and that you'll help them as they uh, face both prosperity but also adversity in their relationship and in their lives. Bless them and bless their families today, Father. This prayer we offer in your son's name. Amen.